Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to a brand new Vanilla Survival series. Man, look at this world. This is a beautiful thing. We're in the middle of a taiga. We got some cows and stuff over here. The seed, for those of you who want to play along, there's the seed right there. Just default settings, other than, uh, you know, custom seed, obviously. Uh, and this is it. This is going to be the final world that I ever play in. This will be the one that I play in forever and for always. <laughs> and I'm really excited. Uh, I do want to mark our spawn. So I figure what we'll probably do is I'll get rid of this tree and we'll put something here so that we can know that this was our spawn. Because uh, eventually I'd like to build like a spawn tower or something uh, here when we come back to this spot. Let's just... There we go. And I think what I'll do is I'll just put some spruce planks right there, just to mark the spawn uh, so we know that that is where we spawned. Um, but this is good stuff. Uh, now, this seed is a really good seed. Every biome is within 200 blocks of spawn. Um, or 200 blocks, 2,000 blocks is what I meant to say. Every biome is within 2,000 blocks of spawn. So, uh, oh, that's right. Oh, and we are in the latest snapshot as of the time of this recording. 16W20A, Minecraft 1.10, on the way soon. Um, I do want to turn off auto jump because it's going to drive me crazy. Otherwise, there we go. Okay, so let's get ourselves some stone. We're going to basically survive the first night in this episode. And then between episodes two and three, I'm going to do some work uh, and, you know, get some stuff done so that we can essentially get into building up this world. And I have huge plans for this world. I want to have different villages and kingdoms and regions throughout the world. I want there to be lore, uh, you know, like a backstory for the whole world. Um, I want every region to be kind of interconnected, but yet distinct and different. Uh, if that makes any sense, I'm, uh, I'm super excited. I think this is going to be amazing. Um, let's do that. And there we go. We'll get that going. And then I need a, a sword. There we go. Okay. So let's grab that and then I should probably get some of the spruce as well and we should probably murderize a couple cows uh, so that we can you know get some food going hold still and I'm getting leather already fantastic um, anyway so plans long-term plans different villages different kingdoms different regions all kind of interconnected lore and a backstory for the whole world and for each of the regions and please help me with that leave uh, if you have suggestions for different uh you know regions and uh kind of the storyline and backstory please please uh share them i would love to get those suggestions because i'm a relatively creative individual but uh with the scale that we're going to be going through here uh or going for here on this scale. I don't think I'm going to be able to come up with all of the backstory and lore by myself. So please, if you have suggestions for the story of this world, by all means, share them. Uh, I'd love to get those from you. But um, anyway, between episodes one and two, I'm going to do some work, uh, a lot of work, in fact, uh, as far as gathering more resources, um, probably work my way up to, uh, you know, different stuff or maybe I'll do that I, I think I'll do that primarily as episode two episode two will probably be a lot of little jump cuts and uh type time lapse type things and basically just showing me uh showing you know this is how I got to diamonds and blah 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 uh and then we'll get into massive amounts of building and all sorts of cool stuff um one thing I'm really excited about for this world as I said all the biomes are within 2,000 blocks of spawn so that means that we have, uh, let's find a smaller one, maybe, who I hear, I hear zombies already. Um, so that means we're going to have all the various resources available to us, and we're definitely going to want to play out with the, play around with the new 1.10 stuff too. There's some new blocks in 1.10 that I am super excited about, specifically the bone block. I think the bone block is going to fit really well with my kind of rustic medieval 
uh, building style. Uh, it's going to look gorgeous, and it's going to fit into a lot of different builds that I use, I think. Uh, so I want to get a skeleton farm going uh, relatively quickly if I can find a skeleton spawner. That's going to be the hard part. Uh, hopefully we'll get lucky with that. But yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Now, it is the first day, and we need to survive. We need to live. We need to, you know, thrive in, in the world and make sure that we can live uh, to see another day. Um, I'm not playing on hardcore or anything like that, but, uh, you know how it is. So, priorities right now, get trees, get resources to build a house with, uh, build a derpy little starter house, definitely want to get some sheep, uh, get some food, all that kind of stuff going, uh, and I think we'll be okay. I don't think this axe is gonna make it all the way through this tree. In fact, I'm pretty certain that it's not going to. Yep, there it goes. Saw that one coming. That's all right, we'll make another axe. Let's just do one of those, there we go. Come here, yes. Okay, and then this should be plenty of wood. I would hope, at least. Hopefully this will be enough to get us settled. Uh, probably more than I need, it's like two stacks of wood, but uh, spruce trees, so easy. So easy to get massive quantities of wood very quickly, so we're gonna go with it. Um, I've done a little bit of kind of scoping out. I, I mean, obviously I chose this seed for a reason, and I did check around just to kind of verify a few things, make sure that all the biomes are actually here. Uh, so I kind of have like a general idea of where certain biomes are and stuff like that, but I don't, I, I definitely don't remember coordinates. Like, I know for example that if you go northeast from spawn, you'll eventually run into an Ice Plains Spikes biome. Uh, I know there's an extreme hills around here somewhere, which is where we're ultimately going to head uh, for today's episode, I think, to build our little starter house. Hey, come back, pig. Stop it. There we go. I need your bacon. Um, I want to get into the ice plow. I want to do, I think, the majority of my early game mining uh, in an extreme hill so we can get some emeralds. Uh, might as well. I mean, if we're going to be mining anyway, we might as well, you know, make the most of it and make sure we're getting emeralds too, so... I don't see why that would be a bad idea. Um, but somewhere around here, there's a decent-sized extreme hills, and I don't remember exactly where it is, but either way, we'll find it. I think it's... Oh, hey! Stop running. There we go. I think... Oh, yeah, it's right over here, I think. I think this is it. Yeah, and there's tons of animals as well. So we're going to kill all the animals... I, that that AOE attack is not really conducive to this, but it's okay. There we go. So we've got 16 pork chops. Uh, the chicken I'm actually going to save because eventually I'll want to make a little automated chicken cooker guy thing. So I think that should be good. And we do have enough for a furnace. So let's head over here. I believe there's... I hope there's some sheep around here somewhere. I haven't seen any yet. Uh... Sheep like mountains, right? They're like goats. If we go to the top, we'll probably find some sheep. I'm hoping, maybe. That would be good. Uh, let's see. I need to cook up that food pretty soon here, too. I'm getting very hungry very quickly. There we go. And I don't... And now that I think about it, I haven't actually seen any coal yet, either. So... Coal? Maybe we'll find some coal up here. Yeah, yeah, I see some right there. That'll work. Okay. Actually, this wouldn't be a bad location right here for a little starter house. Maybe just, like, right around here? I think that could be good. Let's get... Oh. Water pool. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's get some food cooking up. Let's put that right here. Throw that in there. Um, that should do, right? Yeah. And then I'll make just a couple of torches as well. And we'll just plant those kind of around this area. I think this is, maybe this is where I'll build my little starter house. Just right here in this kind of little nook. Uh, I'll clear away some of this stone. And I think that'll be good. That's a, a, a pretty solid location, I think, for a starter house. So that will work. I'm definitely going to need to get more stone. Um... Let's see, do we see, can we see any sheep from here? That's the real question. Oh, tell me it's not getting dark already. Oh, it is, man. Sheep, I need you, and I need you quickly. 
Any sheep. Anywhere. More cows. I don't need more cows. I need sheep. I see forests and things over here. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad if I can't find sheep. Because I have no armor, <laughs> no tools, no nothing. Bad things will happen to me if I cannot find sheep. Um, over... Oh, that looks like an area where sheep might spawn. Please have sheep. Pretty please. Over here? Yes? Sheep! Where you be? Um... There's lava burning things over there. Ow. Yeah, it's... This is dangerous. This is a very bad idea. Um... Sheep. I see pigs. I see chickens. I see zombies. Lots and lots of zombies. Lots and lots of chickens. No sheep, though. Come on. I just need, like, three sheep. There have to be some around here somewhere. Please. Pretty please? That's a skeleton. Um, creeper. I think the skeleton sees me. Skeleton sees me. Oh, boy. Okay, this... Mistakes were made. Oh, boy. Run away. Run away. Run away. Ah! Yiki. Okay. Okay, we run. We run. Ah, uh, skeletons. Skeletons! Wow, that took... Was that half my health? That was half my health. Just from that one skeleton. And now he can see me. Um, quick. Oh, there's more than one. This is not good. Die! There we go. Okay. I think we'll be fine. I think we're okay. I might just have to hole up for the night. <laughs> if I can't find some... Die. Oh, man. Look at my... My health is so low right now. This is not good. Oh, there's a plains over there. That'll work. There's bound to be sheep over there, right? Okay. There goes that guy. We'll head off this way. I'll go to the plains. There's bound to be some sheep on the plains. I'm hoping. At least. Hi, skeleton. The good news is we're getting tons of bones. From this little endeavor. I should have grabbed that food out of the furnace. And I didn't for some reason or another. At this rate, though, it's going to be daylight before I get back. Um, that skeleton scares me a little bit. Water and skeletons do not mix, as you know. Are we alive? We are still alive. Sheep? Sheep. Oh, finally. Okay. Sorry, sheep. I need your wool. Hold still. I'll kill the white ones. Three wool. Good. Okay. Really quick. Crafting table. You go there. And... Bed. Whoo! We made it. Okay. That was a... Rather... Terrifying night, if I do say so myself. That could have been disastrous. Go away, zombie. Come on. Thought I was going to die there for a sec. That would have been horrible. Dying from baby zombies. I'm going to kill some pigs, though, and get a little bit more food since they're all right here. Might as well. There we go. Yeah, so we got... We're, we're decent on food for the time being. Um, I do need to make it back to my food, obviously, but we can do that. I think we'll be okay. Uh, I'll eat a little zombie flesh, I guess. Why not? Restore... Wow, got really lucky on that and didn't get any hunger. Anyway, so I'm going to head back to our little area where we're going to be building our starter house, and I'll come back to you in just a second. All right, guys, I am back. So I've uh, reached my little area over here. I was originally thinking about building here, but there's that water pool underneath it, so I don't think that would be the best idea. So I'm thinking maybe we build over here instead. And given that we're going to have a mine, I think it would be kind of a good idea to find a spot that's relatively low elevation-wise. Not like super low, but lower than 
you know, up here. This is basically the top of the mountain. I'd like to get under the level where snow spawns in vast quantities. So I'm thinking maybe we'll build like right about here, maybe? Maybe not. Hmm. I mean, it's just going to be a little starter house, so we could potentially build right here. That would be one option. Uh, what's over here? Over here's the taiga. The plains is over there, and this is all extreme hills. I know I do want to build in the extreme hills for the starter house. So I'm thinking... Then again, we could go here. Kind of, hell no, I want to be able to see my place from a distance. That's another important thing with the starter house as you're exploring. You want to be able to find it again so you don't get lost. So having it up high is often a good thing. Let's get a little bit of this coal here. There we go. So let me do this. Let me scout around a little bit. Let me get a little bit more oak wood and some other resources and cobblestone and stuff like that. And let's figure out where we're going to build this starter house and then get to building. All right, guys, I am back and I have... Uh, I've decided what I'm going to do for a starter house. I'm actually going to build a starter tower instead, which I think will be kind of cool. So I want to lay this thing out a little bit. Um, and the tricky part is going to be figuring out where to put everything. All right, guys, I am back and I've decided to change this up a bit. I was originally going to go with um, a larger circle, but I was just looking at the resources that I would need and I, thinking, you know, this is a starter house. And I decided that I'd be better off doing a smaller tower. So we're still doing a tower. We're just going to make it a bit smaller. And I'm just kind of working out some of the details right now. So let's go maybe five high on these. One, two, three, four. Oh, I already had two. Let's go maybe five there. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. That looks about right for the base shape. And then our door is going to be right here. Yeah, that looks all right. Okay, so let's just kind of build this up a bit. Like so. And let me just get some of this stuff built up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the tower in. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we're going to bring the tower in a little bit and, um, you know, kind of change the shape as we go higher. So it's going to get it's going to go up. It's going to get thinner and then it's going to uh, widen back out once we get to the very top. So that's kind of the plan. Let me get some more work done on the tower, guys. I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back and I've got some more work done on the tower. So this is kind of the shape we got, and then we'll put a, uh, I'm thinking like a kind of a wizard hat roof on this, a nice cone roof. Um, I'll probably want to bring the bottom out a little bit more in some spots, uh, but that's okay. We can do that. That's not a big deal. Just to kind of lengthen it up uh, or kind of, you know, make it a little bit more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Give it a little bit more structure, I guess. You know, maybe something like that. And then we could maybe put like a stair, an upside down stair there. And put some spruce logs like here. If we did that on each side, maybe. Uh, just a thought. I, I mean, I'm, I haven't really decided yet how we're going to do that. But we definitely want to strengthen up the bottom of the tower a bit. Because uh, right now, it doesn't really look like the bottom. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the shape right now. Let's put it that way. So, uh, just want to give you that little progress update. I'm going to get the roof on it. I'm going to see what I can do about the bottom here. And then I'll come back to you in just a minute. All right, guys. I am back. And I think the roof is done. I mean, it's not completely perfect, but it gets the job done. It does what I wanted it to do. So I think we're in pretty much good shape there. Um, yeah, I think at this point all we really need to do is punch out some windows. 
uh, you know, obviously move our stuff inside and, uh, you know, call it home. That's pretty much it. So, uh, let's just put a couple torches in here. Uh, that torch I'm just gonna leave there for the moment. Well, and this. This needs to be... This needs to be cleaned up a little bit, too. Uh, this is... From my... This is the results of my building. Uh, let's just do that. Can I get all of these blocks? I don't think I can get that one from here. Uh, let's do... This. There we go. Now I should be able to get that guy. Aha! Beautiful. Okay, so let's put a torch here and here. Because this is ultimately going to be covered, I think. Probably. We'll do that. Do I have any slabs not on me? But we're going to end up slabbing that ceiling just to cover up that mess because that's well a mess uh let's do that and we'll put those right here at this level and there's a lot of spruce in this build but that's okay it's what we have it's our starter house towery thing there we go so you got that going uh this needs a little bit of rearranging and adjusting uh we're gonna put our windows here on the sides. Um, I'd like to use glass panes, but I don't have any glass at the moment, so we may have to do something a little different. Let's knock these out. There we go. And then this, this is the very, very top level, right? No, the ceiling is the very top level. Okay, so we'll put a couple of windows here. I can put a couple right here and right there. There we go. So those will be our windows once I actually get some glass. Let's take a look. See what we think. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think it'll get the trick done. Let me go find some sand, get some glass. Let me get my stuff moved in and I'll come back to you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back, and I think we are done. There it is, our little starter tower. <laughs> it's not perfect, far from it, but it gets the job done. It works. I did expand the base a little bit. Um, not entirely sure if I'm... Uh, it looks a little fat to me, but uh, that's okay. It's fine. For a starter tower, it does the trick. Um, I might put a cobblestone wall on the very top up there, but... Uh, but it's all good, and I think I am definitely out of time for this episode, guys. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.